Hi everybody and welcome back to Sci Art Shop channel. Okay guys, we're going to carry on with our um, paintbrush sheet. Now I'm just going to put everything back on the board, so just to remind you where we're at. And then I will explain what I'm going to do next for you guys. Um, so let me just build it as best I can. And then we can go from there. So let me just put pop the feet on and then I'll put these there. I won't actually put them on because they're a bit tricky to stick the actual hooves on. Um, so there we go, guys. That's where we're at. So what I'm going to do um, now is uh, shade it for you and show you how to do that. And then um, put the eyes on and um, stick down the bits I can stick down and uh, go from there and then I will um, stop this clip and I will spray it with some varnish, uh, gloss varnish and then I'll come back to show you exactly how it looks and to finish it off completely. Okay, so without further ado, I shall get on with that. So let me uh, park these to the side. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is start shading. So I'm using the gauche powder, which I use quite a lot. That's a powdered paint. And I'm just going to um, pop that uh, in with my brush, tap off any excess. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see me um, that I've done this before. And I'm just going to turn this on the side and uh, slowly put some shading along the side. So let me carry on with that. And then you can see what I mean. So I'm just going to liberally pop some on there. This one's a bit tricky because you've got the uh, the little balls there, the bumps of the um, wool. But not an issue. We're going to get around that. So we just need to give it some shadows so that this all links together nicely. So all you do is just pop it on like that. So you don't need loads of it. Just slowly offer it round. When I um, make paintbrush animals and different, uh, different things, I uh, usually do this first of all along the edge because it just sets it off a little bit better when you uh, pop it on your board or whatever you're doing with it. So, uh, yes, that's all good stuff. So a little bit more, might put a little bit up there like so, and a bit down there like that, so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so another one there. As easy as that, guys, so just pop that down. Just blowing that off there. Just a little bit more. I think I'm going to turn that around a minute because I'm right handed. It makes it a bit easier. There's a bit, some of the dust, um, the paint on there. I'm just going to offer that back up. Okay, so that's basically it. Now we've got our face next. I think I'll do that. So let me, we're not going to um, paint these white eyes. We're going to leave those as they are. So I'll just put those to one side. And now I need to paint the, or do shading in the eye sockets. So all you do is that. And just offer it around like so. Oops, quite a lot there. Let me blow that off. But I find if you do this quite dark, when you pop these in, they give a good effect. So a little side tip there, guys. Okay, let me put that down there. Okay, so I'm just going to do the side of this now. Just to give that a bit of shadow and interest. And see, just like that, just popping it round. Now I'm going to um, put a bit of dark in the 
in the mouth there that's where the the um, tongue's gonna go so like that I'm just gonna put a bit there just to give that a cheek a bit more prominence and a bit on there like so and blow that off right now I'm just gonna have a quick look at the tongue and I'm just going to paint underneath that so let me just do that now and then pop that back on there you can't see much of that but uh, so I'm just going to do some of the sides a little bit so you can keep playing around with this until you're happy that you like the shading you've done as you can see it's quite I do it quite quick so it's not a time consuming thing I just put a little bit on there so it's like that so I'm happy with that so I'm going to put that down now we've got the ears, so I'm just going to, this is going to be under the head, so I'm just going to put some in there, like so, and the other side, just there. And you're not going to see a lot of this, but just to show you, so you see, so you've got that, you can just see the shadow there, and I might just pick out the edges there, and there just in those little grooves just to highlight those a bit more as you do you know what I mean I'm saying you do you do that's great even the nose I'm just going to I'm not putting any more of that uh, gauche powder on there I'm just going to use what I've already got okay and I think I'm going to just put a bit more make it a bit darker under the chin part and then that's going to be how that's looking so that's all good so I'm going to put that up there now I need to do the feet and all I'm going to do there is just basically put some on in the middle and a little bit there and see I'm picking up I've got some that spill onto the desk there I'm just using that so I'm not going back into my pot because you don't want to waste any or waste as little as you can and again I'm just pushing that around like that a little bit like that so that's roughly it i think okay so um i'm happy with that i think i might put a little bit more on the main brush because i can't see some of this so i'm just going to go up a little bit more along the side just to give that a bit more interest like so and uh, i might i think i'm going to do this just pick an area and just highlight it give it a bit of interest not much but just a little bit because it looks too white and I need that to look like it's um, you know it's not going to be perfect are they sheets aren't completely clean or anything so uh, that's all good and I'm going to put a little bit more along the bottom there like so just so you can see that so let me just pop everything back on quickly here to see if I'm happy. So I think I might need a bit of shading there. I think I will because it looks like the heads. So that's quite a lot there, so that's fine. I'll drag that over there. Okay, guys. So let me just blow that off a minute. Okay, so let me just have a quick look how this is looking. A little bit there, I think. It's too white. A bit more there. We know that works with the tongue, so that's all good. And these bits. Okay, so I think we're sort of there with all that. So that's all good. And uh, yeah, so a bit more there. Okay, so we can always put a little bit more on once we've uh, stuck it on. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with that. So without further ado, let me just put all this to one side because I just need to wipe the board a minute, or the table I should say, get that off. Okay, so that's that. So what shall I do next? The next thing is, um, is to 
and you stick the head on with the eyes and the tongue. So you get your trusty glue gun and what I need to do is to exactly decide where this is going to go regarding the ears because I said this need to go slightly down didn't I? So I think I might do it like so. Let me just see how that works. Won't be a second and go from there. Yeah, I think that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is just pop a bit of glue on there and a bit there and uh, stick that down like so. Quickly put that back on. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to put this one sort of there, I think. So let me just take that off and then put a bit there and then push that down like so. Quickly put that back just to see if I'm happy where it is. And I am. So what I need to do here is, um, because these bits are higher, and uh, this bit's going to touch that, and these two bits are going to be touching on there. So that's where you need to put the glue. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of glue there, and a bit of glue there, and a bit of glue there. Can you see that? And then hopefully that should be enough. And then I'm just going to pop that down like so yes that's it so i'm happy with that so that's on now i need to do the eyes now i'm going to just put a little bit i've done it i'm going to do this one slightly differently normally i, I put the glue on the actual eye balls but i'm i'm going to do it like this so i just need a little bit in there i'm trying not to get a wispy bit in there so you have to be a bit careful so that's that and then this one you don't need much, you just need it to not come out. And when you varnish it, that helps stick everything together as well. So let me just see. Oh, I've got a wispy bit there. I'm just trying to get that to come away. Oops. So I've got a little wispy bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I have. And it's gone over the middle bit. I might get away with that, so let me just see. Okay, so I'm going to put the eyes on. Yeah, and I've got away with that, so that's good. So I'm just pushing those in. So that's all good. Now I need to put the tongue on. So that's just going there. So I think I won't put any glue in there. I think I'll use that part and stick it like that, if that all makes sense. Let's get rid of that. And pop that like so is that sticking i believe it is all very good guys isn't it all very good right so that's as much as i can do on the the actual brush because it's going to go on the board and then we're going to stick these separately where we want them to go but um before we do that i need to get the trotters done is it trotters? No, that's a pig, isn't it? We're not doing a pig, we're doing a sheep. So this is the um, feet of the sheep. And all I'm going to do there is just pop a little bit of glue there and a little bit there. And that should be enough. I've got a wispy bit, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just pop that on and pop that on as well. Can you see this, guys? Hopefully you can like so look at that absolutely amazing so there we go so we've got the actual uh, feet and the the um the hoofs i suppose you call it is it hoofs that sheep have i suppose it is must be mustn't it let me know in the comments below if i'm saying the wrong word guys but you know what i mean don't you you know what i mean what i'm saying you do you do that's great okay so now i need to get that on which side is it I don't think it really matters because I can always put some extra black on there. Okay, so that's one side done. Now I need to do the other. So let me just pop a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there. So see guys, it's ever so easy to do this one. I love making this sheep because uh, there's not many element elements to it. And... Uh, it all comes together quite quick, which I love, honey, I love. Okay, let's put a little bit more glue on there. And a little bit of glue on there, too. And pop that on there. 
And then which side are we using on that? Mm, I think that's the top. Oh, we've got a wispy bit. Can you see that? Just get rid of those. If you don't get rid of these bits, these I call them wispy bits, they, um, when you spray it or paint it again or whatever, uh, the spray or paint will pick those wispy bits up and it, it looks like um, cobwebs. And that's not what you want. We put that on the right way. I think I might have put that on the wrong way, but it's going to have to stay there now. Because it's higher, look. Can you see that? It's higher than that one. Can you see that, guys? So a little tiny mistake there. A little bit of a bit of a mistake, but not a problem, because it all adds to the character. We're not going to worry too much about that. Okay, so let me just put that back. And then it's going to go roughly like this. And we're going to go something like that. Now, I think that's a bigger one than that one, so... That's, so we're going to go something like this. Now I've got to put the eyes on, which I will do in a second. Um, but yes, we're nearly there. And what I think I will do is, um, I think I might put some highlights on with Posca pens. Now this might work, it might not, but I'm going to go with it. Let me just see if I've got a Posca pen that's the right size. Hmm, interesting. There's white. Let me just have a look. Oh, yeah, look. Hmm, I think it's a bit... I'm not too sure about that. Anyway, right, I'm going off on a tangent. I need to get the eye on first. So, let me... I'm, like I said before, you can use a pen, like a felt tip pen or a Posca pen, something like this, to uh, draw the eye on. Like so, make it the boss eyed if you want to, or make it look to the right or the left or up or down, it's entirely up to you. Um, but on this occasion, I'm not going to do it because I've got some of these. And I've shown you these before, little bookly eye things. You buy these and, uh, you know, they move around when things get shaken. And I think they look quite good. So I'm going to use that. Now with this, I'm using um, school glue, PVA glue. And all I'm going to do is pop a little bit there. And I'm going to have it boss side and a little bit there. You hardly need any glue, guys. So you can see that? So that's all you need, and then you just pop them on. And when you put them on, you can sort of move them around slightly. The glue will dry clear, so don't worry. So we could go looking like this, oops, or I think I quite like it looking in like that. So I'm gonna go with that, but you can mess about with it and move them around. Um, I wouldn't move them around too much, just think, you know, you're either having them to the right, up, down, whatever, or a bit boss eyed like my one. But you can move them about. They are, look. So I'm sticking that on like so. And that will dry, like I said, clear. So don't worry about that. So look, already, it's looking like a lovely, cute sheep, isn't it? That's what we want, guys. Um, okay. Now, looking at this now, that's quite white up there. So I'm just going to use a little bit of highlighting. I'm not putting any more of that um, uh, gauche powder on. I'm just going to go along like that. Because I think that just needs something there. Because it looks a bit too too white. Okay, and the rest of it's not so white. So we're going to go with that. So that's that. So what needs to happen now? Now I've got to make a decision. Do I use a Posca pen to do some highlights or do I not? Because now's the time to do it. So I'm not 100% sure. I think I won't on this occasion. I have before, but I won't on this one. So what I'm going to do is leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is take this outside and I'm going to spray it with, um, well, I'll show you the spray actually. Spray it with this stuff. I've used it before. Winston, uh, Windsor and Newton is general purpose high gloss varnish. And why am I using this is because um, I've already got it here. So I'm not going to buy anything specially uh, to treat this. Um, I've used it on other projects and it works fine. So um, I will spray it outside because this is a bit whiffy. Uh, so it needs to be in a ventilated area, guys, just so you know there, a little tight tip there. And also um, I will spray it once, let it dry, spray it again, let it dry, spray it again. So it's probably three times. And um, it won't be on the board, obviously, because we're gonna, after it's dry, I will come back and show you how to stick it on. Um, so it will be sprayed like this. So this part will be sprayed and the uh, feet will be sprayed as well separately. 
and then like i said i'll let it dry and then come back and show you the next clip so it's all very exciting isn't it so we're nearly there guys this one's nearly done too nearly completed that's what we like isn't it we like it all completed so um i did say on one of my other tutorials on this one i might put some hair on there and make it but i'm not too sure whether whether i want that because you know i could actually make something to go on there but uh, you know you can get some wool or something i mean i've just found this bit just off the top of my head um you know so you could do that sort of thing let me just try why i'll tell you what i do this is all on you know i'm making this up as i go along guys so i'm just going to quickly try and do it just to see so i've just found that piece of wool and i'm just cutting it into two and wrapping it like that and then do i stick that on there because it all adds to the character guys now you don't have to do this and I might not, but uh, I'm just seeing what that would look like. Because you could put it at a jaunty angle like so. And have it like that. Because because that black would pick up on those blacks. So that would be quite good. I think I might do this, you know, because it's a little bit different. And I just feel like it needs something there. Do you know what I mean, what I'm saying? You do, you do. That's great. So how will I do it though? This is the thing, because now's the time to sort it out before I, um, you know, finalize everything. I can mess about with it before I stick it on. So I could do it like that. So, or we could have it going over. Let's see, I need to, decisions, decisions guys, isn't it? You could do it like that. What about like that? Do we like that? It's like you've got a comb over. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to do that, you know. Right, let's go with it, guys. So what I'm going to do is get my trusty glue gun and stick that on. So I've just decided to do this off my own bat. So a uh, little bit of glue on there. Try and get rid of that wispy bit. And then I folded that over like so. I just need to make sure I get both of them to stick like so. Okay, let's have a look. And then you can always mess about with it yourself. You could have a piece in there. You know, you could change it every day if you wanted to. Whatever, whatever hairstyle you want, you could just do it like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm liking that. It's definitely a comb over. Um, okay, let's do that. Yeah, I think that just adds a bit of character. So let me I'm just playing around while I'm talking to you guys. Do I do it like that? Does that look better? Yeah, I think the comb over there like so. What about that? Okay, let me just get the board back and show you what that looks like. And we decide exactly where we're going to put the feet when it's all been varnished. Okay, so. So we've got that. So that's the sort of look we're going for. So like I said, I'm just going to go outside now and uh, spray it all up. So I'll stop this clip and then we'll do the final um, show and I'll show you how to stick it all on and what it finally looks like. So all oh, very exciting, guys, isn't it? I love it so far and hopefully you do too. Um, and if you do make any of these, um, please send me a picture of what as kind of character your sheep come out like because they, they always come out slightly different so there you go guys i'm gonna go now so thanks for watching like share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next clip bye bye for now